the smooth chair, which will be with three legs. So first I'm going to make a sphere. From the radius, from the center, and let's say this is going to be 400 millimeters. Well, maybe too, too big, 200. Okay, and uh, I have to be careful about the does this this joint of of uh, surface should be uh, somewhere out of our process of designing because some, somehow it's getting very complicated to do anything with this. But anyway, uh, I'm going to rebuild this surface. I'm going to use uh, 12 and 8 in UV. And now I'm going to change a little bit of uh, the form. So look. I'm going to make this chair flat from above, which I'm going to uh, use special to to have the shape of it. I have to align these points to that points first, and then I'm going to align that all points to these points in straight line. Yeah, which means that I'm, I have to be in one direction, blocked. And then I'm going to make a little bit sh of uh, round shape here and you will see what, what, what it gives me. And let's, let's have a look on perspective. Kind of this shape. So what I'm going to do now, I have to make a holes for legs. So how to do it? Have a look. I'm going on top view I, I can switch my control points off right now and now I'm going to make a sh direction of my legs in front of you so which will be for example let's say a little bit angled like that should be alright let's have a look how it gonna look from perspective view I'm quite happy with this so I have to duplicate this shape three times around the circle so Let's go in top view and then make a function which is revolve. Uh, sorry, uh, polar array around zero point and three times about 360 degrees. And we've got it. Look, we've got the direction of our legs. <coughs> Yes, the little barbecue grill. <laughs> That's right. Let's make barbecue. Let's make barbecue. Maybe next time. Now we'll stick with the chair. Because <laughs> I have to show you all the, all the analysis of draft angles to the molding production. Okay. Let's go in top, back in top view. Look, I've got this uh, shoe here, which I'm not quite happy with this. So I can get rid of this. I mean, I cannot get rid of it. I can move it somehow. So I will just go up from above and change, uh, rotate a little bit, let's say 45. So to have this uh, not intersect in my uh, idea. Okay, let's go to top view. Then I will just make a shape of uh, our leg. So that's going to be this one. This is big because it needs to be cut it and I'm going to use a blend function. A blend function needs a continuity, curv curvature continuity, which actually might be helpful because that you will see later. I will just because I'm talking too much right now, I don't wanna uh, okay. I have to do polar array two in zero points, three times, three sixty again. And now, straight on, I'm going to project all these shapes on my form. Straight on. Like that. See? I can get rid of the top, the top shapes. I don't need them at all. And I might need that shapes in the future, so I'll not 
delete them I'll just put them in a layer some some layer and just uh, the switch the view off and now I've got kind of project ellipsoids which I'm going to use to trim my form let's trim it and have a look what happened you see that's what I needed and now I need legs and as I told you before this is gonna be quite bionic chair or made partly bionic so I'm going the bionic objects are more smooth and carved carved than normal wooden chairs so I need uh, to use this continuity continuity so I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, need one of my continu continuity information here the only circle is not any information it's just a position so I have to have kind of a, a cylinder because cylinder contains information about uh, surface continuity so have a look how what so what I'm talking about I'm going to make a cylinder uh, around carve because I've got a carve so I can make around it and let's say this is going to be 15 millimeters and in direction not in that direction but in this direction why is that because I'm going to make a leg here I need this only to, to make a continuity and this is it I, I can I have to get rid of my cap tops and then have a look what I'm going to make I'm going to surface creation and I'm going to choose blend option blend surface and I'm going to use tangency here and tangency here because I don't need curvature look and now it looks a bit tricky but don't worry about that decreasing this uh, continuity I'm making nice shape nice and smooth shape yeah. and this is actually it look I've got a nice and smooth shape of leg look I when I was talking about continuity I, I said I talk about the kind of mathematical joint between this surface and this surface which is actually nice and smooth shape which is called tangency if from this direct from this side and from that side I could give a cur curvature but well I, I'm happy with tangency doesn't matter so now to prove that everything is okay to prove that I've made the uh, uh, my object in the center which is zero point I just need to copy this object three times around the circle then it will tell me if everything is alright if I'm in exact in the edge of the next uh, shapes so let's let's do it let's copy it around the point zero three times 360 and now if I'll try to join it and if it will join it means that everything is okay if not it means that I've made a mistake somehow somewhere but I I actually uh, happily got everything okay now I only need to go in the front view and make a kind of uh, flat legs I mean flat ground legs yeah I'm just trimming and this is actually it and now if I'll just uh, write the comment the cap comment I will just cap the ends of it so now only one thing I need is just uh, is just to make a fillets here nice and smooth fillets and this is going to be last thing I will do this is it yeah I've done my project is quite nice nice and smooth and the last um, thing I can do is just check my object if if it looks really as as I thought it will be by environmental map look this is environmental map which gives me the idea how the light how the environments will f uh, will be work, will work on my surface of course I can do the zebra test too to see how lights will work on my on my sh on my shape see everything is perfectly fine there is no uh, 
no bad edges here quite smooth a nice light goes from the leg to the bottom